Microsoft are beta testing a new Windows utility called PC Manager. In this demo we take a look at what PC Manager is, what it does and whether you actually need it. Microsoft PC Manager is a new Windows utility in beta testing that is publicly available to download for free from Microsoft and it supports both Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's basically a graphical front end to many features that are already built into Windows but it centralises them into an easy to access application in the Windows system tray. It makes these features more discoverable and easier to access. It's a lightweight application and it won't take up hardly any resources on your PC. But do you need it? Let's take a look and find out. Just bear in mind the application is still in beta at the time of making this video in November 2022. So features shown here may change when the app is fully released. The version I'm covering in this demo is version 1.2.5.2. To download PC Manager, open a web browser and navigate to pcmanager.microsoft.com. Go ahead and click on the download link. And that will download a small installer. We're going to click on the installer. And then just accept the license agreement and click install. It's an online installer so it will download the installation files and install them automatically. And it will just take a few minutes to complete depending on how fast your internet connection is. Once installed, we're going to say launch now. And then that will put the PC Manager application in the system tray. If you right click on the PC Manager icon, we can go into settings, which is just a couple of options to select whether you want PC Manager to start automatically when you sign into Windows and whether you want the app to auto update to newer versions when they become available. I prefer to leave both of these options enabled. You can also check what version of the app is currently installed and there's a button to force a check for updates as well. You can left click the icon to open up the main application and the app is split into two main tabs we've got clean up and security and in each one are additional features and i should point out that most if not all of these features are already present in windows and these features do the same things or in some cases the app just takes you directly to the actual feature in the os i'll go through each of these features now and show you the corresponding feature in windows where applicable so firstly within the cleanup tab we've got a boost button and all this does is delete some temporary files from memory and disk which have previously been used by the operating system but not yet removed from RAM or deleted from disk. Personally I think this will have little to no impact on how well your system runs because the operating system always needs to have temporary files in use at some point. Next we have the health check tab. And this one is going to delete some temporary files. It also does a very basic virus scan, which happens really quickly. So I think it's just scanning what is currently in memory and not your entire hard disk. There's also an option to protect the default browser. This basically blocks anyone or any malicious software from changing your default browser to a different browser. Be careful with this option though, as currently, if you do choose to protect your default browser, there doesn't appear to be a way to undo this if you decide you want to have a different default browser in the future. Maybe this will get fixed in a future update. Having said all that, this feature appears again later in the app, and that option does indeed let you undo the protection if you change your mind. I'm not sure why this feature is in the application twice, but this might change when the app is fully released. This tab also includes the option to disable some startup applications. In other words, applications that start automatically when Windows starts, so you can disable any apps that you don't use. And in theory, your PC will start up a bit quicker because it has less applications to load at startup. This is another feature that appears to be in the app twice because there is another tab with the exact same feature. Once you disable applications here, you don't get the option to re-enable them later if you change your mind. The other tab that we'll look at later does actually let you disable and re-enable them. So that would be the better one to use. And we'll take a look at that a little later in the video. Once you've selected the options, go ahead and click on proceed. And then click done to return to the main menu. The next tab is storage management. And this has another four items to choose from. The first one is called deep cleanup. This one will scan for redundant and temporary files that are taking up disk space unnecessarily, including the recycle bin, old Windows updates and your web browser cache. The built-in equivalent is called Disk Cleanup. And this has been around Windows for years. Um, it's now considered a legacy app and most of that functionality is now found in the storage settings.
but all this can now be managed from the PC Manager tool. So once you've selected all the items to clean up, click on Proceed. Once it's completed, we can click on Done and go back to the main menu. The next tab is Manage Large Files, and this one allows you to search for particular types of files over a certain size. For example, you can search for video files over 1GB. Once you've selected what you want to search for, you can click on the button to view in File Explorer. And the File Explorer window will open and search your drive according to the options you selected. This feature is already present in File Explorer, but this tool is just presenting it in an easy to use manner. The next tab is Manage Apps, and this is just a shortcut to the Apps and Features settings which is already built into Windows 10. This is where you can select software that's currently installed and you can choose to uninstall it. You can also get to that just by clicking in the search box and typing Apps and Features, and that will take you to the same window. And this is just the modern equivalent of the Control Panel Programs and Features, which has been in Windows for several years. And the last tab in this section is Storage Sense. And again, this just opens up the Storage Sense settings page, which is already part of Windows. This is where you can turn on Storage Sense, which will help you recover disk space if your storage space gets low. We can also manually free up disk space now by clicking on Clean Now. This is the disk cleanup tool that we looked at earlier. So if we go back to the main cleanup tab, the next section is Process Management. And this says you can end unused processes to make your system run faster. So you can choose to end an unused process and this will basically terminate the running application or process and free up the resources it was using. So I'm not currently using Microsoft OneDrive, so I'm going to end that process and it should release 98 megabytes back to the system for use with other applications. So I'm going to go ahead and click on end. We then get a dialog box asking for confirmation that yes, we do want to end this process. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on end. And you can see that Microsoft OneDrive has now disappeared from the list and it's now released that memory back to the system so that we can use it for other things. I'm not sure how useful this would be. You would normally only end an application or process if it had crashed or stopped responding. And historically that's been done from Task Manager, which has always been part of Windows. You can get to Task Manager by typing Task Manager in the Start menu or the Search button. And you can see that Task Manager shows a lot more information and is probably a little bit daunting for non-technical users. So PC Manager shows this simplified view and fewer applications to terminate and is probably not going to show any processes that could cause problems to your system if you inadvertently terminate them. And the last item in the cleanup section is Startup Apps. As the name suggests, this will show you a list of applications that are configured to start automatically when Windows start. You might remember from earlier when we looked at the Health Check tab, there was a section there for startup apps, which is exactly the same feature as what's here. So I'm not sure why it's in the app twice. But having said that, this is the one to use because this one allows you to both disable and re-enable the apps later if you change your mind. The first one only allows you to disable them. Historically, Windows has always had this feature built in and you can find it in Task Manager. If you open up the Task Manager and click on the Startup tab, you can see all the items that are configured to start automatically with Windows, and you can just right click and enable or disable as you like. And more recently, the, the modern equivalent has been moved into the Settings app. So you can just type Startup Apps in the search box to bring up the same list of items that are gonna start automatically, and you can just toggle on or off. And this is just another example of PC Manager just presenting features that are already in Windows, but making them more discoverable and easier to access if you didn't know they were already there. Okay, now let's move on to the Security tab. And this one has another four options to choose from. Firstly, we have a Scan button to scan your PC for threats. Again, this is a front end for functionality that is already a part of Windows. In this case, we're talking about a virus scan feature in Windows Security, which is Microsoft's built-in antivirus and threat protection software, which has been a part of Windows for several years. You can get to Windows Security by typing Windows Security in the search menu box. And you'll be able to access various security tools, one of which is the virus and threat protection scan now button, which I suspect is what the scan button in PC Manager is using under the hood. So if you click on scan, it will scan various key locations within Windows and all the other areas listed here. You can click off this screen and the scan will continue to run in the background and then you can come back to the screen later. 
The next tab is Windows Update, and this one speaks for itself, really. It's another front end for accessing the Windows Update service, which is already part of Windows. You can check in here for any Windows updates that are available and choose to install them by clicking on the Update button. To see the equivalent built-in Windows Update feature, you can click on the search icon and type Check for Updates. And that will bring up the Windows Update service, which is already part of Windows. Once you're happy with the updates, you can go ahead and click update. The next tab is browser protection. This is another example of a feature which bizarrely appears twice in the PC Manager app. In the health check tab I looked at earlier, I mentioned there is an option to protect the default browser from being changed by malicious software. In that example, it lets you enable the protection but there wasn't an option to disable it afterwards if you want to change to a different default browser in the future. Well, that option is duplicated in the security tab, except this one allows you to both enable and disable protection by toggling the on off button so that if you want to select a different browser in the future, you can do. So let's do a little demo. If we turn on the protection and then we go to our default apps, if we come down to our browser, it's currently set to Microsoft Edge, but I'm going to try and change it to Google Chrome. You can see the box just disappears and that's because the browser protection is on. It won't let you change it from the current default, which is Microsoft Edge. If we go back here and toggle the protection off, I'll go back to my default browser. I'll change it to Google Chrome this time. And this time it has allowed us to change the default browser. There's also a convenient button here that lets you easily change your default browser without leaving the app. And the last feature within the security tab is pop-up management. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what this option does. The description says enable pop-up block to block pop-up windows in apps. But if I click enable, it just tells me there are no supported apps available, so I'm guessing this is only relevant for certain types of applications. I don't think it's related to notifications that pop up, for example, when you receive a new email, and I don't think it's anything to do with internet browser pop-ups. Hopefully this option will become more apparent in future updates to the app, or by the time PC Manager is fully released and out of beta testing. If you've got any thoughts about what this option is, please let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this demo. In summary, Microsoft PC Manager is a graphical front end to lots of PC maintenance and security features that are already present in Windows, but it puts them all in one convenient place which makes them really easy to access. It's clearly aimed at non-technical users and I think it does a good job of simplifying features that are already in Windows but are not particularly discoverable to the average user. It's not really a must-have piece of software, but I think it's a nice to have and definitely beneficial to non-technical users to keep their systems running smoothly. So I'm giving this application a thumbs up. It's a bit buggy and rough around the edges at the moment and some features oddly appear twice, but hopefully Microsoft will gradually improve it before it's generally released. So that just leaves me to say thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this and give the video a like if you enjoyed the demo and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.